hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'll be talking about a toxic church culture so watch out hi guys for those of you who don't know my name is Omalade Okayeto and I focus on faith, travel and review. So welcome to Car Talks with Omalade Okayeto. And today's topic is going to be about what is a toxic church culture. But before I get into this video, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you support your sister. The button is just below. I will really appreciate it. Right. So disclaimer, this is not to attack any church or any organization. This is just to educate anyone who needs to see this video. Okay, so every church has its culture. Whether it's good or bad, every church will naturally have a culture. So depending on what that is, it could be like particular lingos, particular ways of what they describe as modesty. It could be different things, but every church has its culture. And unfortunately, some churches have really bad toxic cultures and I think it's really important that I do address this in this video. So the first one that I wanted to address is when you're in a church or organization that has a lot of politics. <laughs> So this is a bit of a tricky one because I think with this one, the more that you're involved and the more responsibilities you have, the more that you are exposed to the politics. And this is when it can become a bit of an issue sometimes because what you see behind closed doors is not what is shown uh, to people, if that makes sense. What's going on behind closed doors, what's going on like office, I would say, is not necessarily what you're seeing at the forefront it's not what the people are seeing and this is when it can be a bit political because it's like you're saying one thing but you're doing another thing and this is when politics gets involved so for example maybe that you want to address certain issues or certain things or certain things that you notice and it's just brushed off or your voice is not heard or you feel that you have to scream in order for your voice to be heard another thing could be it's like it's very hierarchical so it's coming from top level and it just fickles all the way down and there's no kind of involvement there's no kind of you know a two-way conversation it's always like a one-way thing so it's it's very yeah, bureaucratic i would say and of course if there's bad leadership that's another thing that's when you know that you're in a toxic environment so bad leadership could be maybe you'll have a particular leader of a group or the pastor or the preacher or whoever whoever leads you if they are not leading you in the right way in christ-like way then this is when it can become an issue so bad leadership could be a couple of things and i've got my notes here but it could be the maybe the individual is micromanaging you also very intrusive doesn't respect your your personal life your personal space it can be very controlling as well towards you also no patient maybe doesn't like to delegate responsibility as well so the person might be a holder and doesn't like to delegate responsibilities to you or other members of the church also they don't care about people who hurt so if an individual is hurting they may not really care about them and may like shame them name call them do indirects a, a lot of these things so that is definitely very toxic so if you have a bad leadership in a church or organization that you're in this is when it can become a, a big issue for you because it's toxic. It's not really good for your mental health. It's not good for your well-being. Even preaching as well. Certain preaching is done and you leave not feeling happy. You, you leave feeling even sadder than when you came in, which is not great. And so. when there is a lot of gossiping happening, of course, gossip happens it happens but when you're in an environment and there's a lot of gossiping and there's a lot of like people talking behind your back or talking about each other and it's never solved in the right way it's never solved like face to face or let's try and sort it out let's bring out the bible this is what the word says and let's sort this out <sighs> This can be a, a really toxic environment for anyone to be in because imagine if they're gossiping about you, they're gossiping about your life and they're gossiping about everybody's life and everyone's doing it and there's no kind of accountability. Ooh, triggering word, but in this scenario, there's no kind of accountability to take action for the gossiping to stop in that environment. In essence, things just never get resolved. It's like a vicious cycle. People just always gossiping about each other and 
why would you want to be in an environment where people are always gossiping about each other and one of the biggest things that um, I've noticed that people have an issue with with churches and their culture is sometimes they are not welcoming so there's a lack of community a community is really important to a lot of individuals if you're in a church of course you want community you want to be able to get along with other members or your pastor or preacher or leader or anyone you want to have that nice transparent relationship but unfortunately i think this is one of the main reasons why people leave or tend to feel uncomfortable because you tend to see clicks as well so you can see very clicky friendship groups at times and it's it's a bit of a hard one because i guess if you've been going to a place for a very long time you form your own friendship groups and things like that and so it can be really tricky for from someone coming outside and then trying to like be be part of that friendship group so i can see both sides to it but this is where one can feel left out as well also feeling left out and isolated so you're not involved in groups you're not involved in activities they don't tell you about anything there's lack of communication and you just don't know anything you don't know what's going on in the church that you go to and this can be very hard on an individual especially if one lives alone or doesn't have much family if uh your church is stingy so they don't give to the community they don't give to the poor they don't help those in need and even importantly those in need within your church so maybe a member or certain individuals are suffering and there's no support when it comes to finances it's neglected so that's another thing that like where's the community in that if you can't support those inside and outside uh, well what type of community and environment is that so, however what can be a solution to this acknowledging the gaps so say if you're a leader or you have some kind of authority in the environment that you're in looking at the gaps and looking at ways that you can improve and also taking accountability like okay i acknowledge that there are gaps within my church or where i attend to what can we do together to improve this another thing as well is also consider outside help because sometimes when you only see what's within it's very hard to see outside so it's also good to get maybe an outsider to come in and maybe they might be an expertise in this area but there's no harm in getting outside help to support you to improve your church and your church culture remembering as well that no church is perfect no church is perfect at all and there's always rooms to improve my only christ is perfect but at the same time looking at ways on how you can keep improving ensuring that christ is the center of all things and you are always pointing to the word you are always pointing to christ you're always referencing okay how would christ deal with this situation how does christ deal with people in the bible and always pointing to him and always looking to him for guidance i think that's the most important thing and of course we get that from the word and of course prayer as well prayer is very key very important asking guidance asking god to help and support and give you the the means to be able to improve that environment so that instead of it being a toxic environment it's a healthy environment it's a healthy church culture and if there's anyone that of course you have offended asking for forgiveness as well these are really key things to do but of course like i can say okay these are the toxic church cultures but at the same time i also believe that looking at the solution and looking at ways to move forward anyways guys i really hope that this video was useful um, of course I would love to hear from you guys are there any experiences that you don't mind sharing in the comments below where you have experienced any of these kind of things i would love to hear from you i really hope that this video was helpful make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and make sure you support a sister until next time guys